Hi, my name is Megan, and I'm one of the virtual writing tutors at Wake Technical Community College. I want to talk to you today about logical fallacies. These are errors in reasoning that don't support the point you're trying to make. Logical fallacies can be used intentionally to confuse people and convince them of points they otherwise would be opposed to. It can be easy to fall into the traps of logical fallacies, so I want to talk to you about some of them today with the help of some friends. The slippery slope logical fallacy is an argument based on the premise that if A happens, B, C, X, Y, and Z will happen too, making the false claim that A and Z are equivalent. So if we don't want Z to occur, A must not be allowed to occur either. This is dangerous because it can be used to scare people into fearing a change, even if the change might be needed or beneficial. Um, what are you doing? Running away. Why? Scrabbler said that cats weren't so bad. Before you know it, she'll be inviting cats into our nest! The hasty generalization logical fallacy is a conclusion based on insufficient or biased information. Often people might judge a person by a single interaction or a class or a business by only one visit. Even though we've only raided one corner of the Johnson's kitchen, I can tell they won't have anything good. I'm going on to the next place. Later. Where did you get so much food? The Johnsons. Once we got to the upper corner, we found cake. Post hoc ergo propter hoc is the assumption that just because B happened after A, then A caused B. Making assumptions like this is problematic because it's not based on logic or evidence, but purely on chronological order. Squeak, he got sick after eating that cheese. So, cheese must be poisonous. But that can't be true. I just ate cheese the other day, and I feel fine. The circular argument logical fallacy is a type of argument attempting to prove a point by simply making the same point again using different words. Circular arguments are often used to defend the status quo or existing power structures. Rats are the most intelligent animals. Yes, I, I guess that's true. It must be because we're so smart. The either-or fallacy is a type of argument that attempts to force listeners into a false choice when realistically there are other options. This can be used to coerce people into making the decision the speaker wishes to, or to rush their decision making. Everyone, everyone listen. We have to make a choice today. What's going on? Either the whole group votes me, the leader, we're all going to get eaten by cats. <gasps> Is there a cat around? No, but I think that sounds like a good reason to vote for me, right? The bandwagon fallacy is an argument that appeals to people's desire to follow others and claims that one should believe something simply because other people do. This is a problem because popularity of an idea or people's belief in that idea does not necessarily make it right. I don't think this is such a good idea. What do you mean? Everyone in my family has always triggered mouse traps for fun. It's like a rite of passage. I'll be fine. I hope now you understand the importance of logical fallacies and how to recognize them. Being aware of fallacious claims made by others can make you a stronger critical thinker and help you be more capable of making strong arguments yourself.